If you watch my videos, you may know that I recently bought a new Smith & Wesson SD40VE. Now this is Smith & Wesson's bargain basement uh, entry level gun and uh, it has really turned out to be a surprisingly good gun for me so far. But if you also, if you've watched my previous videos, you know one thing I do not like is this rear polymer saw, uh, sight. It is polymer and it is cheap looking. Like I said, there's not even an indentation for the dots, it just painted on little dots. So I went out and luckily I was able to get, I was making an order the other day and I had a 10% off coupon, or actually I had a 15% off coupon for Midwest USA, but you had to spend at least $100. Well, I was only at like $98. So I found an M&P rear sight for $16, which pushed me over the $100, made me able to use my coupon. And so I actually ended up paying about a dollar for this site. So for a dollar, I'm going to be able to upgrade this. Now, if you don't have a coupon like I had, you're not already ordering $100 worth of stuff, it'll cost you like 15, 16 bucks to upgrade. But for me, it's costing a dollar. So I'm going to take this one out and put this one in and see if it makes a big change in the gun. Okay, I'll tell you right off the bat, I am not concerned about damaging this uh, site when I take it out because I have no intentions of keeping it or ever reusing it. So I'm just going to tap it out here with a brass tap. I'm not going to worry about being gentle with it. I believe the Spanish would say that is El Chipo. That is horrible. I'm going to get rid of that and put in my new uh, rear sight for a Smith & Wesson M&P that I purchased from Midway USA. As you can see there, it is the metal rear sight, which actually has indentations for the dots. Uh, just a much better sight. Now let's just hope it fits. Now I'll just use my little BJ machine here to make the final adjustments to the rear sight here. And now I just have to put the set screw in. Get that started. There we go. They got a little red Loctite on there so it's a little hard to get it started. But I don't want to put it down too tight because I am going to have to adjust this at the range. But there we go, got it on. Okay, it is on the gun there now, and as you can see, thousand percent improvement. Looks much better, even got a better sight picture now. So just for, in my case, one dollar, in your case, probably fifteen, sixteen dollars, you can take a three hundred nineteen dollar gun and make a huge difference. I mean, that just looks so much better, should hopefully work better, it's easier to see. Uh, so, you know, works better, looks better, and very cheap to do it. And even with, if, even if you spent the full $15, $16 on this gun, uh, you're still only looking at $335 for the gun with the new upgraded sights. So, still a bargain and still a great gun. So, glad I took care of that little issue because now that won't be bugging me.